Hello everyone, Retro here with the live draw of the Duck Soup Gaming Year of Tournament 2013 Grand Prize for Nate Ducky back there. Let's bring him up here. This is the Grand Prize, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. All his crocheted goodness. So let's take a quick moment here and take a look at the winners from the past year. I want to quickly give a quick shout out to everybody who won before we put their names into the draw bucket here. So let's get the master list up here. All right. We started off this year in January with Awesome Nost, which is a great game. It's like a side-scrolling MOBA. Uh, take your favorite 80s cartoon, put it in space, give it the Dota treatment. It's fantastic. I was really happy to run it. And our winners were uh, on Team Grizzly Bear. Or, I don't think it was Grizzly Bear. Team Grizzly something. What was it here? What did they call themselves? Uh, I knew I should. I knew I should have had the duck soup tab open. I thought, no, nah, I'll just write it all down. No, no, this is why you have all your information open at once here. Uh, da, 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 da. What did Jabu call this team? Year of tournaments. Blah, blah, blah. Awesome knots. He called himself Team Grizzly Alpha. What did he call himself here? Grizzly Bear Furnace. Team Grizzly Bear Furnace. Uh, consisting of Bat Out of Hell. Put him in there. Of course, the aforementioned Dread Pirate Jabu. Where's his? There we are. Dread Pirate Jabu for Awesome Knots. And the third member of that team. Come back here, you. Was Cow. Cow goes into the bucket there for winning. Handily winning the tournament there with a 4-0 perfect record in the group play and then slaughtering everyone in the playoffs. We move on to February. We played some excellent, uh, an excellent match of Civ Five Gods and Kings, which there were some concerns whether or not we get an entire tournament done in a month, and we more or less managed it. And when all was said and done, the winner of that was we call him Turnip. He calls himself. The Uber Tuber. Uber Tuber with the winner for Civ 5 Gods and Kings. He goes into the draw. March brings us to Track Mania, which I say, as far as free racing games go, you can't get much better than Track Mania. It's like Hot Wheels on steroids. It's fantastic. Love it. Great game. And the winner of that was Raisin with some jaw droppingly good times schooling people like me and break on the helpful pyro. Uh, but speaking of me, uh, when we got into April, it was time for the Rock of Ages, not the, not the stupid musical, the game, Rock of Ages, which is like, uh, think of Marble Madness if Monty Python got their hands on it. And, uh, yeah, I won that one. So, uh, into the pot I go because every winner, every winner of a tournament gets an entry in the pot and there were no more entries for one person than the winner of the May tournament Flightless Lobster. He ended up with a three, three tournament wins here. Nearly made it four, but he ended up with three. His first one was for the May tournament, Frozen Synapse, Flight, Flightless Lobster, taking down all comers, including uh, to Strike, which was one of the newcomers to Duck Soup, who just absolutely destroyed so many of us in that game and taught us a lot about how to play that game really well. So thank you to Strike for showing up and teaching us how to play that. But Flightless Lobster was not done with winning just Frozen Synapse. Oh, no. He also killed us in Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Absolutely destroyed everyone. Limbs were hacked. Blood was spilled. Good times were had by all. Um, but his quest for three in a row was broken by the Unlogical One, who managed to win for Greed Corp, the excellent little indie game where you basically destroy the map, hopefully slower than your opponents, and be the last robot army standing. That was the, what were we here, April, May, June, July. That was Greed Corp with Unlogical One winning the first of his two tournaments. But then in August, oh, it was time for XCOM Enemy Unknown, and this is where Flightless got his third victory. An excellent win there, and a great tournament, too. I ah, love XCOM, absolutely love it, and the reboot, or I guess the reimagining? What do you want to call that? The new one, the new XCOM, just fantastic. Absolutely loved it, was glad we got a good tournament running out of that. Uh, then we get to September. We played a not-so-standard game this time called Hero Academy, turn-based game uh, where you can either win by destroying your opponents or by killing all the crystals or blowing up all the crystals. It's got a cool Team Fortress 2 team. There are dark elves, dwarves, humans. It's super fun. And another newcomer to Duck Soup won this one, um, Elagatua. 
who, uh, I think much like Jabu, came in and just destroyed the competition. It wasn't Jabu, there was another newcomer. A lot of newcomers, actually, came out for the uh, Hero Academy tournament, which is good to see. Good to see that um, uh, Robot Entertainment tweeted out that it was happening. We got a lot of great people turning out. and it was, a, it was good to see a full capacity tournament, well attended. It was uh, great to see. Uh, then that brings us to October. Uh, first of our two fighting games, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. And this one was won by Agent E, who did very well indeed to win that tournament. And he goes, Unlogical won his second tournament in the November Retro Tournament, Transport Tycoon Deluxe, reimagined as Open TTD. Uh, I believe his final company value and all was sent down was somewhere up in the, uh, like I want to say, like 38 gajillion. It was insane. Absolutely insane how well Unlogical did with that. And finally, the December tournament just concluded with the Grand Finals. And despite dominating everybody in the Champions Bracket, Jabu fell to Mr. Scary Muffin, who fought all the way from the back of the Loser's Bracket to come back and take the Finals. An excellent year of tournament, so thank you all to everyone who showed up. I'm just going to jump into Mumble here really quick. Hopefully, if the whoever I draw as the winner is watching, you can jump into Mumble and say hello with me here. Da -da 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 -da. Where did I put Mumble? All right. I'm going to fire up the old chat room here, make sure I can actually see everything. Connected. Right. Jump into the, I guess in keeping with the tournament theme, I'm going to jump into the uh, Civ room, because why not? Alright, that's done. And that is there. Alright. Alright, good. So, let's, uh, let's do the draw, everyone. This is for the winner of the grand winner, I should say, of the Duck Soup Gaming 2013 Year of Tournaments. Walking away with a nice big ducky. All right, you will never be able to say you don't have a duck. Someone says, do you get a duck? You can just hold up your ducky and say, I got a duck. I won this. All right, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? No peeking, no peeking, no peeking. And the winner is... Back there. The winner is... Oh, it's Bat Out of Hell for Awesome Knots. Congratulations, Bat Out of Hell. You are the winner of a ducky. Congratulations. So thank you all to everyone who participated in all the tournaments. Thank you all for joining Duck Soup Gaming and playing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching the live draw. We'll see you next time.